Hi, this is going to be, oh, <laughs> this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Hi, Cancer. Okay, so you were tied for the top reviews on my channel with Taurus. Um, yes, it was Taurus. So it went Libra, Capricorn, um, Taurus and Cancer. You guys all got the most views. So this lighting is way better. I should have used this lighting the other day. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading for February, Cancer. So I am not at home, so that's why there's a little bit of a different setup. I am on holiday visiting my mother. Yeah, this lighting is way better. I definitely should have used this in my last readings. Um, so apologies for that. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but you know. This is Budweiser. <laughs> All right. So what does Cancer need to know for February for their love life? And I'm going to try to be a little bit quiet because there are people sleeping, so I'm going to try to be respectful. I'm starting out with the Rider weight. Cancer. Whoa, whoa. So right off the bat, we got King of Cups. Someone is in their feels. Is it you or is it somebody else? Whoa. Oh God, that one flew out. That energy was incredible. Hold on, Cancer. Okay, so two cards flew out. We have, first we have King of Cups. Can you see that? And then we have um, Five of Wands, Justice. This is the one that hit the floor and I picked up. And this one fell in my lap, which is the Ace of Swords. So I'm gonna pull one more card and I'm gonna try to interpret the, the energy from these cards. Right away, the first two cards definitely tells me that it feels like, oh yes, there it is. Okay, so there's my confirmation. I was going to say it feels like someone is in their feels. They're starting to get feelings. Um, now this could be your energy or your person's energy. You know, it's really hard to tell because a lot of the times when you spend so much time together, your energies will be energetically linked and tied together. Therefore, it's really hard for me to tell whether it's your person's energy or whether it's your energy, okay? But I was going to say from the second card that came out, which is the Five of Wands, that it feels like they were trying to hide their feelings for you. They're feeling them, but they're fighting them because this card shows me there is some kind of internal conflict, which is showing up as an external conflict, um, you know, on the outside. So someone is fighting off their feelings. That was the initial feeling that I got from the card. And but yet I wasn't sure. And then, you know, the last card I pulled was the chariot. So yes, it's confirmation. Um, this is also Cancerian energy. So your card came up. Um, the justice and the ace of swords in between um, shows me that at this point, the universe is definitely fighting to give you what they think you deserve. So take that how it resonates. But it feels to me like you've done... A lot of the inner work and so the universe is trying to gift you with a great love and and so if you know this person is not coming forward then and the universe is thinking that they're not giving you what you deserve then they're gonna try to find a way to boot them out basically <laughs> um, but you know with the ace of swords that came out right next to justice this does show me that there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be some kind of communicated breakthrough. Although, you know, the Ace of Swords, which to me is always the communication card, cutting through, um, cutting through falsities, um, you know, so it's clarification. It's the sort of truth, right? It's, it's um, Archangel Michael's sort of truth. Um, but it came out right um, with the Chariot card. <laughs> so... This tells me that they are still trying very hard to control their emotions. They are still 
fighting off this very strong desires that they have for you? Or is this you, your energy? I mean, maybe you are the one that's fighting off, you know, the feelings that you have for someone. You know, but the chariot is about, you know, trying to control um, deep, passionate emotions. And, you know, you can learn to control these horses all you want. Um, I mean, you know, they're horses normally in, in lots of tarot decks, but in this one, they're sphinxes. So you can try to control those sphinxes all you want, but I mean, in the end, how long can you keep on fighting, right? All right, we're going to throw some romance angel on here for you, Cancer. Romance angels. What does Cancer need to know? Can we get three cards for Cancer, please? Three cards for Cancer, please. Why are these upside down? I'm shuffling them upside down. Okay, three cards for Cancer. And you know, a lot of the times, if the reading does not resonate with you, you can look at your rising sign, or you know, some people call it their ascending sign, your moon sign, definitely your Venus sign, or your, um, what's the other one? Rising, moon, or Venus signs and that will resonate okay three cards for cancer please whoa your energy is on fire tonight that one just popped out we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others take that out resonates Ooh, we got some codependency it says addictions are affecting your romantic life so this definitely it doesn't feel like your energy. It definitely feels like your person's energy. So that could be one of the reasons that they might may be holding back from you. They might be trying to get out of some codependency issues. Maybe they're in a relationship with someone else. Or if they're not in a relationship with someone else, they are breaking free from that. But yet they have a lot of ties with this person. So, you know, it's really hard. Like say... Say they are um, going through a divorce or they lived with someone and now they're trying to break out of that sort of codependent relationship. It's very hard. And so it would make sense why they're trying to hold back this strong desire for you if they're not ready, right? So we have let your friends help you. It says ask for and accept support from others. Then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So some of you might be traveling together really soon here. Um, let's throw some light seers on this. And then some psychic tarot of the heart. And we'll get your spirit message. And that'll be the end of your reading, Cancer. Alright, what, what else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know about this tie they have with this person? And for those of you that are new to my channel, just know that all of my readings are timeless. And so whenever you find this reading is for you, I do do the signs um, every month from Aries to Pisces. So people get confused and they think, oh, it's for this month. I mean, it's honestly whatever the universe thinks you need to hear during this month. But the readings are timeless. And believe me, if you found me, it's for a reason. Because I don't resonate with everybody. And for those of you that are um, previous subscribers, welcome back. I love all of you. All right. So we have some Page of Cups energy. This is the energy of a miracle happening in your love life. Also of someone who's very curious about you. The Page of Cups is sort of a romantic, dreamy type energy. We have Temperance. Can we get two more cards, please? Three of Cups. Let's get one more card, please. Whoa. So it feels, eh, that card wanted to come up, but it didn't. It feels like you're going to have to be patient, Cancer, because I feel like your person definitely 
is trying to get out of some codependency. I mean, or it could be your energy. I mean, someone's trying to break free because there's third party energy coming up with the three of cups. So <clears throat> one more card, please. Judgment. So whatever is going on, they are definitely learning to move forward quickly because they want to see something work with you. I feel like what they're doing is sort of reflecting on the past, you or them, and sort of going on this journey to try to figure out what makes their soul sing, what makes them feel alive. Now, like I said, this could be your person's energy or your energy, but they're definitely letting go of a past relationship because they want to make their way towards you, all right? The Page of Cups shows me that there's definitely some strong feelings here. This is the Romance card. Um, also, if you look in the corner here, there's two hands holding a heart, and the two hands are just floating in midair. So this shows me that this could be a cosmic connection, um, meaning like a spiritual connection, a connection that is orchestrated by the divine. Um, it's This card is also called the Wind Pigs Fly because it tends to talk about a miraculous something happening in your love life. Um, it came out right next to Temperance, which shows me there's going to be a, um, a period where it's not going to happen overnight cancer. This person's not just going to come trapsing in your life. What did I say? Is that even a word, trapsing? They're not just going to come trampling into your life. It's going to take some patience because... They are entangled right now, or you are, with someone else. There, This is the Three of Cups, which shows me this is an energy of third-party energy. So they are getting out of it, okay? And with the Honeymoon card coming up, I feel like once they sort of break free, they're going to make their way towards you, and you guys are going to be spending an awful amount of time together. Um, so that's coming up. There's two cards to hear about integrating light and dark. So either you or your person are doing a lot of shadow work, integrating the light and the dark. We got the chariot, which shows me shadow work. Also, this is moon and sun. So the integration shadow work. This also um, shows a lot of shadow work. Judgment is looking on the past, dealing with childhood trauma, things of that nature. Um... And, you know, she's free in her soul. You see that? All right. So, like I said, finding what sets their soul on fire. You or your person are going through this, like, extensive period of soul searching and figuring out who you are at the core of your being. All right. So can we get some final messages for cancer, please? Are these? These are. I need to pause this because these are all upside down. Hold on. So I paused at 13, 12, and then I turned my camera back on, and it was 13, 13. <laughs> That's fantastic. Number code. 13, by the way, is my lucky number, so it's kind of synchronistic. Whoa. What is happening? <laughs> that was weird. Okay, can we get three final cards to wrap up Cancer's reading, please, spirits? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. This has been a very beautiful reading. Thank you. Three cards, please, to wrap it up. What do they need to know? I told you, I said it felt, remember I said it felt like spirit was giving you what you deserved. You know, take it how it resonates with this whole justice card. And we got number nine, well-deserved reward. I think this is nine of pentacles, but I'm not sure. It could be nine of cups. Either way, Spirit is saying they're going to give you what you deserve, a well-deserved reward. So you have done your spiritual work. A lot of my beautiful cancers, my water signs. All right. Can we get two more cards, please? Ooh, told you. Told you they're making their way towards you. We got six. Love. 
Now this is the Lover's card in the Standard Tarot. It doesn't say it on this because this is the Psychic Tarot of the Hearts. But I have been using this deck for the past three readings. And so I definitely know now it's the Lover's card. Six is also the number of family and spirituality. So like I said before, this feels like a very spiritual union. Can we get one more card for Cancer, please? What is the final message you need cancers, the cancers, cancers to know so we can wrap it up for them? Last thing you want to tell them, Spirit, about their love life. Oh, we got another six. This is number six. It says healing begins. Now, I think this is six of swords. I'm not sure, but we're going to look it up and we're going to read it. So... Six. 127 healing begins it is six of swords so remember i said i felt like you or your partner were going through a massive healing um journey like i mean we all are but healing well not all of us but the awakened ones right that you were doing some massive shadow work there it is i told you let's see all right so the key words are release, heal, assistance, and hope. The energies around you are guiding you towards a better place concerning dealings of the heart. These energies bring new information, new ideas, and new people to you. They will assist you in evaluating your current situation and help you improve it. Even good situations can be made better. What are your hopes and dreams around relationships? Be confident that you're being moved in their direction now. And again, six is the number of family. So, you know, starting a family, um, extended family, when you get with your partner and say they have children or you have children, it's family. It's a family unit. And spirituality. Spiritual union is what it represents. This is a time of healing, a time to let go of past issues and move steadily forward. Better times are just around the corner. The letting go may include difficult relationships, the need to control, the fear of being alone, or anything else that's causing stress and unhappiness. By releasing them, you free yourself to embrace the supportive energy around you. Allow it to carry you onward and let the healing begin. That is beautiful. We're going to do your spirit message. And we're going to close this reading up, my beautiful cancers. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's do your spirit message. We are going to use the wisdom of the hidden realms to do your spirit message. And we are going to call it a reading. So for those of you that would like to join me on Patreon, um, that's always linked in the description box below. If you want to book a reading with me, that's always in the description box below. I also have my Etsy shop lick, linked, licked, it's licked, baby, <laughs> linked in my description box below. Um, and if you would feel so guided to, please show my little guy some love. My son August has a channel and you know when you're first getting started, it's really hard to grow your channel. So if you show him love, that really warms my heart. And I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to his channel. He is the only featured channel on my channel. Um, his last video, I helped him edit it and it's really fun. So you should check it out. All right. What does cancer need to know? What is the final message for cancer for your spirit message, please? Okay, we have the word Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty, number 43. Okay, so the word Lord, where are you? Huh. The word Lord rules communication of all kinds and lets you know that positive interactions can be expected when he arrives as your ally. Sorry, you know, just shadowing my face here. Is that better? Can you see? 
He only speaks with positive words and praises all that he sees. He reminds you of the laws of abundance and praise. When you bless the world, it blesses you back. When you say affirming, supportive words, they carry an energy that returns to you in physical form. Remember that each one has power and will resonate into the universe, seeking its reflection in manifest form. Your body responds to praise. It sure does. As does everything in the world around you. Praise it for its inherent health and beauty. Applaud yourself for everything you do, as even the tiniest accomplishments are important. Praise your bills. Give thanks for the services you enjoy. It just said praise your bills. <laughs> Thank you, light bill, for letting me have this light. Give thanks for the services you enjoy and watch the ability to pay them increase as you align with spirit's increasing power. This is also a time to remember the powerful practice of affirmations. I can attest to that, you guys, because I started using self-love affirmations and look, <laughs> they really helped me with my self-love. It's been a struggle. Write them down and speak them out loud as a spiritual exercise. Say it is so and it will be. It's a very auspicious sign when the word Lord choice, choi, 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 I cannot talk, chooses to be your ally. <laughs> when the word Lord appears as your challenger, he gently warns of untruths, denial, and unsupportive thoughts and words in any area of your life. If you've been dishonest in any way, it's time to make amends. Change your tune. Otherwise, your impact in the world will not be as effective as you would like. Even if you were to be successful as an immediate result, there would be a price to pay later. If others are being unsupportive towards you, know that it's them, not you. Don't take this world personally. Remember that you don't have to engage others when they project their own fears and negativity on to you. Another message here is about how you speak about yourself. Do you say self-deprecating words? Do you minimize yourself so as not to intimidate others? Do you refer to yourself as less than beautiful? Time to change those unconscious statements now. It's not difficult to change things as we are always given a choice to make new decisions. As long as you remain positive and supportive, the rest will quickly melt away and so all you perceive is the highest good for all. All you need is a desire to change and be positive and the word Lord will help you win the game of life. Beautiful. So the Spirit wants you to praise, praise, praise my beautiful cancers. All right, that's all I got for you. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all of your subscriptions and your likes and your shares and your bookings for readings and your love and for being here. Bye, Cancer. Mwah.